How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 8 in my programming Leap Motion with Java series. Uh, to open Eclipse, let's go to my last tutorial where we uh, went over um, getting our list of gestures and then we focused in on uh, typecasting uh, to get a circle gesture and then some of the data we can get from a circle gesture. Well now we are moving on to the swipe gesture that we added to our uh, controller and how we can get some data from that. So we need to create another case in our case switch statement and this one is going to be case type underscore swipe and then we're gonna put a colon. Now just like the circle gesture we have to convert um, the main gesture that we create up here into a swipe gesture when this uh, case is met. So for that, the uh, class we're using is swipe gesture. And we're going to call it swipe. And we're going to set it equal to a new swipe gesture. And just like a circle gesture, we're going to pass in the gesture object as the parameter. Um, for a swipe gesture, we're not going to do any uh, if statements or calculations like the circle one. We are actually just going to print out some data that we can get from it. So swipe, or sorry, system, system dot out dot print line. In here, we are going to give our swipe an ID. So just like the circle object, each um, every time your hand's over while you're swiping, that swipe, as long as your hand stays over the uh, um, motion sensor, every corresponding swipe will have the same ID. And we get that by calling the swipe.id method. Alright. Next thing that we can get from a swipe gesture is the state. So is it starting, is it updating, or is the swipe stopping? Uh, much like the circle gesture. So we'll call this as the state of it. And we get that by um, swipe.state method. Next is the position. Uh, so swipe position every frame every gesture has a palm position the swipe position is the uh, how do I put this well I looked at the leap motion API quickly just to see how they explain it I don't really know how to explain this very well but it's the position of the swipe um, in millimeters we're gonna get a float back and it's in millimeters and it's the frame of reference uh, the position based on the frame of reference uh, of the leap motion. Don't know how to explain that. It's basically the position when you're swiping, it's the I guess the position where the leap motion is detecting the swipe at. Probably the best way I can explain that. And for that we just gotta call the swipe dot position method and we get our vector back. Sorry, I said it was a float. No, it's a it's a vector. Alright but it's still in millimeters, the coordinates. Um, and the next thing is the direction. So this is going to return a vector. This one I do know how to explain. Um, it's the change in position vector. So what direction is the swipe headed? And for that, like you would expect, the swipe dot direction method. And then the final thing we're going to do with this swipe gesture is the speed. So it returns a speed in millimeters per second. So how fast you're swiping your hand across the motion sensor. And that is just the swipe dot speed method. And at the end of this case, we're going to put a break. And now let's run this. Run. Um, I didn't comment out the circle one because it's only going to display the text if it's detected. 
So I'm swiping my hand now, see how long it takes to pick it up. Oh, come on now. Okay, there we go. We're starting to get some swipes. Took a while, but it finally got some. So, while my hand was held over, uh, I detected a couple of different swipe IDs. So I guess my hand went off the motion sensor a bit while I was swiping. I probably swiped too far. But you can see a lot of them here have the same ID, same uh, swipe that was detected. Um, and then you'll see here, so these ones are just updating the state of the uh, swipe ID with uh, the ID number of 338. And then finally when I stopped, it stopped. Um, it went to a stop state. This is the position where the swipe occurred. This was the direction I was swiping towards. And it was saying that I was swiping at a speed of 144 millimeters per second. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe. I am starting to work on a channel called Coding Basics Espanol. So it's going to be all the tutorials that I put up here. But I'm trying to find someone who knows Spanish who can replicate those tutorials as well as create their own. So if you know how to speak Spanish and you're interested, please get a hold of me. Um, and we'll talk about it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.